Water. We use it every day. For drinking. For cooking. For bathing. And even for flushing. We don't usually think about what happens to water before it arrives at our tap. Or how it's collected, treated, and made safe for us to use. And we don't think about what happens to water after it leaves our homes. Clean, safe water is vital to every person on the planet. But those who provide us with the water are virtually invisible. They are the unsung heroes who are constantly working to provide us with an essential resource for living, safe water. Although water covers most of the world, 97% of it is salty. 2% of it is locked in snow and ice, leaving 1% for us to use. And the 1% that is left still needs to be made safe to be used by us. Providing safe drinking water to our communities demands great care and responsibility. Hundreds and thousands of people in communities across the country could become ill and possibly die from water that has not been treated properly and contains pathogens or harmful contaminants. Teams of people from operators to lab technicians and engineers, as well as equipment and chemical suppliers, are constantly monitoring and attending to our water supply, making sure it is delivered to our homes safe for us to drink. And they do their jobs with dedication to detail every single day. We and our health depend on them. When conditions such as flooding or spring runoff or any other event strikes and threatens the safety of our water, these dedicated water professionals work diligently to make sure the water they send us is safe. They take pride in their work. They assure that we're safe. Wastewater operations is a front line of environmental protection. Once we use our water and it's sent down the drain, it has to be cleaned and processed before it is returned to the environment and reused. Water and wastewater operations is a challenging and constantly evolving field. As we look ahead at the changing climates and availability of water, we can't take our supply of water for granted anymore. New ideas and initiatives in water recycling and conservation are constantly being developed and considered. It's an industry that is challenging technology and innovation. How do you get into the water or wastewater industry? It is possible to enter with different levels of education and experience. You may enter as a grade 12 graduate or have your GED to qualify for on-the-job training and testing for certification. Employers in larger centers increasingly require some post-secondary training. This could include specialized education in water technologies or other programs such as chemistry, instrumentation, engineering, or computers. The provinces and territories of Canada follow a recognized North American standard for certification of water and wastewater operators. The certification process generally has four levels based upon a facility's complexity and the size of the population served. It is important to also note that because of the significance of water in our communities, employers often require security clearance, including criminal background checks. To be in water or wastewater operations, you'll need to have the following personal attributes. Good hearing, eyesight and color vision, good health and stamina, the ability to climb ladders, lift, bend and work in a variety of positions, good manual dexterity, some mechanical aptitude, good math skills for calculating formulas, percentages and ratios, good oral and written communication skills. And you must be a responsible person with a conscientious attitude. You'll also need to be a person who has some mechanical aptitude. As a water professional, you'll be working with control systems and equipment. You'll be sampling and analyzing water, assessing results, and adjusting processes. Water and wastewater operations require people who are methodical in their work and tasks. Operators in the water industry are people who often enjoy working indoors, outdoors, and in challenging environments. They are also people who are keenly aware of safety, making sure they employ safety procedures wherever and whenever the situation and regulations require them to do so. Operators need to be physically fit. They may be lifting bags weighing up to 20 kilograms. Water and wastewater treatment plants often operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So where shift work exists, it offers a variety in work schedules. 
and occasionally overtime is required for spring runoff, floods, or equipment failure. To sum it up, water and wastewater operations employers are looking for individuals who are bright, dedicated, and environmentally responsible. People who are willing to take on the vital task of making sure communities have a safe water supply from beginning to end. Do you think you're one of these people and you'd like to know more about the careers in this industry? Then check out the other videos and see what people who are working in water have to say about their careers and the industry.